Can you believe it's been a year since that market basket thing was on our minds 24-7? About this time last year, company employees walked off the job, some were fired, and held countless protests outside market basket stores around the region after President Arthur T. DeMoulis was dismissed. And the public went along and boycotted the store until RDT, as he's called, was reinstated, which happened at the end of August. There was your voices that blared through the television, the radio, and the newspaper print to trigger this insurgence. And in that act, you display to everyone your unwavering dedication and desire to protect the culture of your company. Joining me to talk about Market Basket then and now, Tom Trainer, a more than 40-year veteran of Market Basket, Joe Schmidt is nearly a 30-year veteran, both of whom were fired during the protests last year and then obviously rehired after Arthur T. DeMoulis returned. Good to see you both nice again. To see you. Nice to see you, you know, again. Can we revisit history just for a second? I mean, some of the same things I asked you. Were you never worried about putting your family at risk? 41 years, you get a letter at home, you're fired. It could have been all over. No? You know, it, I think adrenaline kicked in. Uh, for me personally, I, I kind of laughed at that courier when he came to the house. I actually said to him, we've been waiting. And um, from that next morning at 5 a.m., we, we just went. Did and you have a plan B if it no, never we didn't. worked and out? And it's funny because after we won, um, and when it was all over, I was driving to work that morning. And because um, we weren't employees anymore, we were consultants. So we had to meet to see what our behavior should be. And um, I was driving down the street, and I said, you know, what the heck was I thinking? Because I didn't even, it didn't even, I didn't even pause to ask my wife, are you okay with this? But she was on board. She was 100% behind me. And same deal with you, no plan B, 27 years for you. Yeah, I mean, there was really no hesitation. We knew that this is what had to happen. Um, and the company has given everything to us and everybody that's worked with there. It's, it's really been an experience. And uh, I've certainly learned a tremendous amount of being a part of the company and benefited from the culture. So when it came time to protect it, uh, that's what we did. So, you know, I asked you this, both of you guys, during the protest, for lack of repeatedly, and while I trusted you, I found it hard to believe, I'd say, so do you talk to Arthur T. DeMoulis behind the scenes and coordinate, and does he tell you, don't worry, you're coming back at the end? You both told me no contact at all. Is that correct? If I had a dollar for every time somebody asked me that question, <laughs> I wouldn't have had to worry about my future. So what did he say to you when you finally did meet him? After it was over, <clears throat> he's reinstated, everybody goes back to work. What did he say to, what did he say to you guys? Oh, he, he, he thanked us, you yeah. know, as, as he thanked everybody else, uh, uh, especially on that day out on the lawn, and you showed the clip, and it's just, uh, and I think you mentioned it earlier on a, on a program, that, you know, you listen to Meaning T -talk. my program, Boston yes, uh, Public Radio. Thank uh, you, Joshua. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> and, and you mentioned that, you know, he's a guy that cares about people, and you got it spot on. Well, I never met him, but it comes across. So let's, let's come to current events for a second. Revenues are up allegedly to record levels. It's a private company, so we don't really have these public figures, but they say record revenues. Five stores open. Plymouth is opening. Rochester, New Hampshire, I think, is opening in the future. Are there any ill effects of what happened during those six weeks, either of you? Any, uh, you know, Nielsen. Um, the Nielsen Company came out with a report um, on the difference in price structure between us and our competitors. And it's at 15.9%. We're lower, 15.9% lower for the last six months than our competition. And that was actually a percentage point lower than last year at the same time. Yeah, I know. You know? So, um, you know, the, our pay structure is the same, our bonus structure, the profit sharing, everything is, everything profit is the share. same, the customer's values are still there. How about um, some of the lower income workers? I mean, you guys are mid-level manager types and then some mid-level workers who couldn't withstand six weeks of that. What percentage of them didn't make it back, Joe? You know, most of the associates came back and, uh, you know, some, some people temporarily found other work, but everybody found their way back to the company. And uh, as far as the company, we're on track better than ever. Uh, moving forward and opening stores in the future. We have the two that you mentioned, and there's more to follow. And uh, it's exciting. The customer's unbelievable. How about new co I said to both of you guys beforehand, I was one of those people who would drive to the, to the uh, market basket a mile from my house, always packed, so I'd just leave, frankly. Mm -hmm. Now I wait for a parking space, in part because you know, I want to be a fraud. I supported what you were doing, like zillions of people did. 
Do you have any data on new customers, people who talk the talk, or they actually walk in the walk, Joe or Tom? Do you know? Yes, we're, we're actually seeing an increase in, in uh, customer counts, and, and we're talking about five new faces. To, absolutely, five percent uh, sales increase over the prior year, and that's significant. And those are new people, and there's room for more. And we encourage uh, anybody that hasn't in, in, uh, taken advantage of more for your dollar shopping to come on out and join us. Yeah, this is just again, it continues to be too good. When you're meeting, when you're like in the green room, or when you're outside, mm -hmm. is there anything negative you say about this whole experience? or about six weeks without pay or the nothing nothing no <laughs> you know it's funny we were in the green room they found out there's a group of people in there f um, on this show either this yeah. segment or last yeah. segment and and the, you know they found out we we're from market basket and all of a sudden it became oh you're from market basket what do you do and you know I remember that and it was it was I think we get that a lot um, a lot of people are celebrating with you. So what's the moral, what's the takeaway from the six weeks and the year of success since? First you, Tom, and then you, Joe. What's the takeaway for the public? Well, I think if you take, you know, to, to duplicate what, we, what happened with Market Pass would be, would be difficult at best because um, you're talking about decades of culture built up. Um, you know, the DeMoulis family, Arthur T, and his, certainly his father before him, T.A., um, you know, built this company based on taking care of the people. In fact, T.A. DeMoulos, when he started the profit sharing program in 1963, which was unheard of because there was still a lot of pensions back then, um, his philosophy was take care of the people and the people will take care of the business. And that was never more evident than it was last summer. But Joe, you even know? if that's aberrational and Market Basket is a separate kind of animal, the basic story, it seems to me as an outsider, is you treat your people well that's and it's it. good for your business that's as it. well. Is that not it? Take care of your associates, take care of your customers, and they'll take care of you and a business. You can run a profitable business and be very successful. You started 14, right? I did. How old were you? 14. You're going to retire there? Absolutely. It's unbelievable. Without Tom Trainer. Thanks for having it's a again. lot more fun talking to you after Jim, you won. Sure is. <laughs> Happy anniversary.